Okay, uh, we are live, 30 FPS, no dropped frames on the stream. I don't know if the emulator is going to shit itself, though, because it kind of did last time. Mm. Mm. But today is a new day. Let me adjust my, oops, sorry, my setup. Okay, mm. I see PlayStation 2. Yeah, can you hear uh, us? This is, oh, right. Oh. That's going to be the most important thing move my mic over here yeah okay yeah i hear us good okay cool well we're here yeah excellent hi everyone i guess i should um we should wait for people to show up oh <gasps> do you know do you know who's here no because i can't i don't have my browser open because i don't trust no no it. i mean in in here with me who just uh, said hi from the room Kovo. no it's potion seller Hello, potion seller. <laughs> I'm glad you discovered this meme. <laughs> okay, give me a sec, I'll be right back. Alright. I'm just gonna open Chrome and pray the thing doesn't shit itself again. Come on. And it's shitting itself. Oh. What you're seeing now is what happens when I open running OBS. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm back. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, my boyfriend's life has been potion seller. <laughs> when is the you know, least... I don't know. I saw it somehow. I don't know. I saw playing it, and yeah. then I saw the video. Mm -hmm. I sent you the video, right? Yes, several times. <laughs> yeah, it's that's that's just it. It's just the video, and goes like potion seller. I need only your strongest potions. You cannot handle my potions, traveler. So every time I see my boyfriend, I just go hello, potion seller. I'm going into battle. I want your strongest potions. But my boyfriend doesn't reply, so I just reply for myself, like, my potions are just strong for you, traveler. Does he often just not that... reply? He's just, like, shuts down in your presence. <laughs> it's just <laughs> after being subjected to, to months and months of baby Yoda, baby Yoda, looking in a pot, but he's just, like, baby Yoda. Just, he's just checks out mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. That's, uh, yeah, because, I, I, I mean, I, I've started doing that and I don't even live with you. Oh, shade. Do y'all hear how shady rich he is? I should probably tell people. Yeah, you this. should, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, potion soon. Okay. Okay, 14 that, viewers. That was me imitating you. Hang on, let's get the URL. Okay. Okay. So... Hi everyone. Hi everyone, please share this URL with everyone, and I will share it here as well. Uh, okay, at everyone. Uh, Richie is streaming, streaming Kuon part 2. Say now. There we go. Uh, Valerian says, oh my god, I've been waiting for this. Yay! Hi everyone, this is on Twitter. Uh, Richie is streaming Kuan part two. Hashtag Kuan. What other hashtag should I add? Hashtag scary, I guess? <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> Wait, why was that funny? Hashtag scary. Hi everyone, welcome. It's been a while. It's been a while since we streamed. We've been busy, busy. But something exciting is going to happen on today's stream. Do you know what it is, Richie? No, I don't. No, I'm, I'm worried. What is that? A cereal? No. Oh, it's Salvador. I put the link uh, so that everybody shares it everywhere. Okay. Can't be the only one doing work around here. That's true. Think again. 
Uh, well, you're eating something. No. Okay, it is in a in a box of like that chocolates used to reside in, but right. um. Okay, basically, you know how we're supposed to give away in the Brutus mug, the Hunter Brutus. It was a patron contest thing for whatever. I don't, I don't remember away. that, but but continue. Oh, you don't remember anything. But so uh, basically, usually I ask you to guess a number or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, this time I decided to do it differently. So what I did is I printed people's names, I put it in this box, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pick a winner, but it's going to be like a team effort, because like, I will put my hand in there, and when you tell me to pick, I will pick a name, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. How's everyone doing today? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start soonish. Yeah. If the audio you, yeah. you, is the audio fine? I think the audio is fine. Okay. Is everybody else hearing us okay? I'm just like I want to make sure people can hear the dialogue because there were some issues last time where it was a bit too long mm. in the mix. Yeah. Also, I think I'm I'm looking at the wave like yeah. uh, thing and I, I I look pretty low. Oh. How is Rich sounding for everyone? The audio is good so far. Okay. Alright, okay, let's go. <laughs> What's up, some guys? Welcome. Sin is echoing a bit. Yeah, it's my... That's your new... It your might new, be my new room. Your new war room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like moving the microphone too. Yeah, yeah basically, I am now in a room. Mm -hmm. Like, my own room. Oh my god. Sorry about that. With That's a, right. With a desk. Yeah, yeah, so it has a desk and everything, yeah. and so now this is where I am, but wow. I guess it is it is bigger than the little basement room, so yeah. I guess there's more echoing. Maybe I should put some carpets on the wall, or... What we need to do is get sponsored by an acoustic foam company. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I already have a little mini foam thing around the microphone, Yeah. but I don't think it's, like, super effective. Um, it I guess, I don't know, I guess it has to be in a phone room. But yeah, maybe. So if there's any um, <laughs> acoustic companies listening. I'm sure there you are. You know, we'd be up for it. I don't care. Lance Anyone records in his this. cupboard. It is. Oh, he must have a fancy cupboard. Like a closet? Yeah, he just sticks his head in his closet. <laughs> just records mm. in that. Oh. Uh, so can people hear the actual... Hang on. Okay, I'm going to start the game and I hope people can hear because I don't see any of the game audio on the uh, waveform, so it's just... Anyway, whatever. So I told you uh, my sister gave me a daily bitch calendar. It's mm -hmm. like a one-a-day rip-off calendar. Yeah. So for the weekend of the 1819, the calendar says, I just want to be rich enough to eat a candy from a hotel mini fridge someday. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So okay. you you played Kuan until you were terrified by a tree and had to stop. Yes. So just to recap everyone, because we haven't played Kuan for a very long time. Mm -hmm. What we it's there's three phases called Yin, Yang, and Kuan. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when the game starts, you just get Yin and Yang, and Kuan is something you have to unlock by beating Yin and Yang. So last time we played Yin. So this mm -hmm. today we're going to play Yang, and then we're going to do Kuan because the Kuan phase is very short. Mm -hmm. And you can see I, I have beaten both of them, so we have Kuan unlocked. So, mm -hmm. all right. So I guess just to recap the the story of Kuan, during the Yin phase we were this lady. Mm -hmm. We were summoned to Lord Fujiwara's mansion, and we kept running into our sister. And then we discovered that people were being taken and put in wicker, uh, these like wicker chests. And they were emerging right. as sort of strange monsters. Right. And there, was, there were references to something called the Kuan ritual being undertaken there. And that was going to, at the end, we discovered that the idea behind the Kuan ritual is that our sister, we had actually killed our sister when we were a child. And... In order to keep her alive, they had subjected her to this ritual thing. 
where she was mm-hmm. being kept alive by absorbing other things into herself. Mm-hmm. And she had to absorb... It was like going upwards in complexity from a... Like a small thing to like like a bug, and then she'd keep going up, and the last thing she had to absorb was another person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spoopy. Yeah. And then at the very end of it, we were basically confronted by our sister, and we were being forced to merge, and then it just ended. Aww. Okay. And in order to make this end, we're going to do Daydream. Okay. Okay. This is the Lord's Manor. It's odd for all of us to be summoned at the same time. Hmm. It's been a month since Lord Fujiwara disappeared. We know a few of his sermons sent him, but I fail to believe. nothing for us to be concerned about. They are only demons. Our master's skills will disperse them promptly. Sakuya, why have you come here? I understand that this investigation concerns Lord Fujiwara. Manor is infested with demons, which astrologers can't exercise. Help me. Enough. I have passed my knowledge and skills on to you. You're not a student of Abe no Sime, the incompetent. Fear not. Now go, child. So could people hear that? Because I was looking at the levels and it was very low. Also, Cine, you still there? Yeah, yeah, okay, I muted okay, yeah. so uh, we yeah, could hear the dialogue. Yeah, the, could you hear but, it? But I mean, there were subtitles, so... Yeah, but could... It was very low. But... Yeah, okay, let's... Hang on. Yeah, I, I, it looks very quiet on my monitor. Hang on. Uh... Hmm. Just up it. Hang on. Uh, that should be better. Can you hear like footsteps? Um, let's see if people can hear footsteps. Let's ask them. Hey, Pablo. People, are you hearing footsteps? Hi, Pablo. It looks like it's a bit louder. Okay, that's good. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm just like I have this volume mixer open in front of me and I'm just playing around with the... Uh... <laughs> okay. Good. Yay. And yeah, I noticed it's still chugging a bit. It's usually okay, but I think it, it doesn't like OBS because you have to go into like game capture mode, which I think uses up a lot of my pitiful mm-hmm. VRAM to do this. So. Oh. Uh, Sin, Sin is Sin sounds odd because she's in a very echoey room. 
Yeah, well, there's two things. Um, I'm in a net clay room, like in a new environment. Hey, Halsey. Also, my voice is a little off because I have had a perpetual cough. The cough is gone, but now my throat is perpetually irritated. So I'm like, eh. Hi, Halsey. Hi, everyone. So do, do you remember that it has a pray command you can use? Yes, you cleanse, yeah. cleanse, cleanse, yeah. cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Why aren't so, you cleansing, Richie? You're giving me anxiety by not cleansing. Hey, look, a note written in blood. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for cleansing. Patron needs a new goal to get Richie a non potato computer. I think we have that, let me see. Well, yeah, but I think we're, that's not going to happen for some time because it would cost like thousands of dollars. It's alright, I'll figure something out. Got same time, let's see if we can hear them. Okay. Look! The seal of mercury has been placed here. You... you do remember how to remove such a seal. Just apply a blood-stained sacred cloth to the seal. There's a sacred cloth for each type. The seal can't be removed unless both the seal and sacred cloth match. Well, match. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out. Hey, Red Drifter. See? Cool. Even I can be nice to my little sister sometimes. Yeah, yeah, there's actually a goal on Patreon. Uh, help Richie get a new computer that's not a potato. It's a three thousand dollar goal. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll. Oh, yeah. I'm sure so, that will uh, happen soon. Everybody would like to help Richie with his potatoes. Yeah, uh, Norimac, this Stay is running. Going. This is running on an emulator because copies of Kuwan are about three hundred dollars each. Because this is an <laughs> extremely rare game. This is a spoopy game, Rowling. Wow, this game is a lot less stressful when I'm not playing it. That's true, yeah. I remember you, um... Your bet noir was a tree. <laughs> that you just kept walking by and it was very scary. Did, did you even... Did you even encounter any monsters? So I just remember you walking past the tree over and over and going, like, ah! <laughs> Yes, I encountered monsters, Richie. <laughs> yeah, hundred worse than the college. I actually had a textbook in college that cost $300. Yeah? Yeah, it was for the uh, intro to Japanese class. Yeah. It was a class that was uh, I took two semesters, it was like part one, part two. And it was like a book as well as a exercise book. It both of them cost uh, $300. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, the professor, she it's a book I guess she's been recommending for a while. And we were like, you know, it's really expensive. And when I told her, she was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it's gotten so expensive. So she was just like apologizing for it. The book I'm in the acknowledgements for is like $85, so I've never bought it, so I can't properly brag about it. Can you find a PDF online and print it and bind it? Don't think it's popular enough. Sin is kind of quiet. Ugh. Talk again. <gasps> Talk again. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Potion seller. I need only okay. your best potions. You can't handle my potions, Trevor. I, feel like, I really feel like muting just... you right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> As revenge, my boyfriend balanced the can of Dr. Pepper on my head. <laughs> it didn't fall, though, so... I'm <laughs> Yeah, don't be bully, Richie. 
I'm glad that everybody's seeing the true volume of the podcast. I feel like the tables have turned, we have come full circle. You can crouch and crawl underneath the bridge there. I am like staring at the volume thing. Uh-huh. And it, it has no relation to what I'm hearing. So I'm still trying to figure out what it's actually happening. Hmm. Is that an elemental from Demon Souls? A monumental. Yeah, monumental. <laughs> Don't be bully, Richie. Someone said you sound like you're in the bath. <laughs> well, you caught me. I'm actually taking a bath right now. Having some champagne, you know, relaxing. Uh, Jesus. Hang on. <clears throat> Click capture. Hang on. I am going to. But I guess it's good to know that I sound way different for when I record our soul. I guess I'll do it in the basement. Yeah. Wink, wink. Huh? Oh my god, do we have solo lore coming up? I don't know, do we? Well, I, I, I recall being in that. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Oh god, every fucking time. The first quarter of the, the stream really is... Does really matter? Richie, people can read. There are subtitles for the dialogue, so... I think it's gonna be fine. It's just so fucking irritating. Like, I'm getting nothing now. There is no audio at all. Let's ask the people, are you guys bothered if there's no audio of the game, or are we good to go? Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on. Okay. <clears throat> hang on, let's just configure the audio in the emulator. Because this is a mess. Config audio. Because I can hear it, and it's really goddamn loud. It's actually hurting my ears. So, turn but it then... down, because people don't mind. Except for Leaf, but... Leaf, <laughs> why are you ruining the solution? Hang on. Can you, hang on, hang on. Can, can you mute your mic for a second? Yeah. Okay, I'm using the sound of the running water to... Okay, I think we have ambient audio now. Okay, I think that's a little better. Okay. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Do you remember the mechanic in Kuon that you, you lose health when you run? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, do you... Yeah, yeah. And then you regen it by cleansing? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. What the F? That was spooky. Richie, I have something to tell you. Mm hmm. Potion seller, I'm going into battle. I want your strongest potions. My potions are too strong for each other. <laughs> I mean, it's it's deeply annoying, but it's less annoying than when it's something that you make me do. So I can just kind of live with it. Okay, so... I guess, like... Now that we're up... To, you remember Kuon, right? You remember what happened last time? Of course, yeah. Okay, so... 
the events of the yin because someone is asking about the timeline and like when this takes place the mm -hmm. events of the yin phase and the yang phase happen at the same time and you see the same events take place which is obviously impossible because yeah. you're two different characters mm -hmm. so the question is how's that work Okay, so let's find out how that works, because... Okay. okay. so we're in the yang phase. The yang phase is, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same progression as the yin phase. Until a certain point. So I, I just save-stated before that point is. So... Do you remember this? There's a little lag, so I'm watching. Because I'm watching on the YouTube. Mm hmm. I remember mm. these. Okay. So, where are we? We're in the library. I'll hazard a saying could there be some unreliable narration going on? Mm. There's a lot of unreliable narration going on. Oh, no. <laughs> Like, they, they kind of give the game away at the end of the previous phase where they're like, hey, everyone's merging together, so their bodies and minds are becoming one. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Thank you. What? It was just this <laughs> noise. Oh, no, that was just, I don't know, my throat made that sound. That was not voluntary. <laughs> Oh no, is somebody merging with me and they're talking to you through me? I think we merged together a long time ago. <laughs> Lol. Potion <laughs> Sella. So the thing about Kuon is an awful lot of the progress you make, it's mm -hmm. not really like like Resident Evil or something where you have to go around looking for keys. It's more like um, stuff just sort of happens when you go into certain rooms. Uh -huh. So what I'm trying to do here isn't necessarily make progress. It's make the you remember the creepy little Mulberry twins? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's try I'm trying to get them to appear, and there's like. But it's not tied to, like, an item or something. I just have to, like, be in the right room at the right time. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's very potion fellow of you. <laughs> so while you're doing that, is everybody here? Um, basically, uh, from time oh, to time, there they we go. have, like... Oh, okay. Good god, the frame rate is shitting the bed. Sorry. Why is Sinclair spooky ghost? Because Rich and I are merging. <laughs> it's because she's in her new room, which is quite echoey. Yeah, also I have no voice today. Yeah. Hi Kazami, welcome to the stream. Look at ghost. It's you. Oh, <laughs> so do you remember this part when you had to like go down and um there was a secret passage under the altar. Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god, they're so spooky. Ruthen says I could do some good voice work with that. Well, Richie discovered that I have a hidden talent. What is it, the horrible E.T. voice you keep doing? <laughs> yes. A patron also needs a goal where Sin gets some sound dampening pads for the walls. No, we're gonna get a sponsor. <laughs> we'll get a sponsor, it won't be an acoustic foam company, but we'll just use it as acoustic foam anyway. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, like, I don't know, you know, I have an ugly doll here, so. If yeah to sponsor us, I can just put a bunch of them on the wall. Hey, we got a new weapon. What a great system. What weapon did we get? It's... <laughs> I don't know why they bothered including different weapons in this game at all, because they are all just... Every character's got one weapon and you just upgrade it by finding things, but the combat in this game is absolute shit, so... <laughs> I don't... Every single combat is just... I don't know. <laughs> it's very like it's just like the original Resident Evil where you just point at something and hit it and then run away before it turns around <laughs> and hang on there's one coming now oh. see this is an example of what I mean that like the way to progress there there's a locked door but the way you progress is go to the door realize it's locked and turn around again uh -huh. instead of actually unlocking it and then that just makes the twins show up okay cocoon uh -huh. time Yay! Ruthen has a great idea. Yeah? Um, he says sponsored by eggs and egg carton accessories. That's a really but good idea. Oh my god, shade. No, it is. We, we need egg cartons. Take... Yeah, I'll take egg cartons, I'll paint them black, and they put them on the wall, and they're gonna look like the acoustic foam. Problem solved? Yeah. But but egg cartons are like a good acoustic foam substitute. Oh really? Yeah. Did I predict content again? Another Inspector Sinclair mystery solved. <laughs> so yeah, you can probably tell from here that the combat in Kuon is not great. <laughs> it's pretty much just this. Did you try parrying it? <laughs> well, if if they include a parry button, I will. <laughs> okay, so we have to do this before I forget. Okay. Okay, Richie, I put my hand in the box, and it's going around, and pick a name. Pick a what? What? What am I picking? Oh, you tell me when to stop, and I will randomly pick a paper, and then I will unfold the paper, and this is the winner of the Hunter Blue to smile okay. that we had on Patreon. Also, hello, Bubble. Hi, Bubble. Okay, you have to tell me to stop at some point? Stop. Okay. Uh, I hit the phone. Oh, I have to grab it again. Okay. And the winner is... Is? <laughs> oh, okay. On the paper it says, would you like to see an episode where my sister does Oh my god! <laughs> on them. <laughs> you see, it's not that simple. Some of the papers in there are decoys, Richie. <laughs> Thank you. I thought that was too simple. <laughs> so, uh, would anyone Mother like to see Sinclair's an tricks. <laughs> where my sister does my nails but draws root on them? She's really good at it. We'll do it. Hey, Mike Bart. Hey. If you just joined us, we're doing a raffle, and Sin has revealed that some of the raffle tickets are, in fact, decoys. <laughs> okay, so we're about to see the major uh, part where it, okay. where it uh, diverges from the other phase. Mm -hmm. So you know how From Software have fun. this thing about, like, people with centipedes in their bodies? Yeah. Yeah? Remember, like, I mean, no. re remember how, like, Lady Fujiwara was trying to rebirth herself in a cocoon and she kept, like, shoving stuff in there and it wasn't working? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, no. Wow, look at that. 
There's a little delay, so I'm I'm waiting for the for the surprise. Is it gonna scare me? Is the surprise gonna scare me? Well, you're scared of oh, trees. God. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, she's so spooky! Oh god! Why is she being spooky? So, Lady Fujiwara is now, is now the, the, the bloodletting beast. She's got a case of the centipedes. Um, another great Kuon boss fight. They are all like this. Hit you with her head? Yes. So, yeah, holds these. It's literally Senpu Temple. <laughs> yeah. Now, remember how Senpu Temple also had a guardian ape? Yes. Mm, keep that in mind. <laughs> Sinclair Automata. Far Contra Robots in 9000. <laughs> Richie, the viewers are bullying me by saying I sound like a robot. Okay, how do you see your health bar? Bubble, when I'm on the menu, you see there's like a blue strip at the top. That's my health. So it's currently blue, which is fine. As I take damage, it'll go increasingly red. Okay. So that was Lady Fujiwara, yep. Bravo. So now, we're gonna try to... Tell me when to stop, Richie. Stop now. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing this for purpose. Is this another decoy? <laughs> it's, like, yes, but I... Because, <laughs> okay, no, we need to talk about this. Because okay, but the last you system you had has. was choose a number between 1 and 150, <laughs> but a lot of them... <laughs> were blank and you just put them in there and I had to choose over and over again and then you yeah. said I'm gonna fix it I'm gonna put everyone's names on tickets and draw them out of a hat but you've now yeah. revealed that several of the tickets are decoy tickets but this one is I, I don't guess what it says on the ticket I don't, because I did this because we were supposed to raffle this off, like, a month uh -huh. ago, but mm -hmm. we didn't have time, or, like, mm -hmm. not a month ago, but, like, anyway, so I kept putting decoy tickets in there, that's why there's a lot of them, <sighs> and I'm like, we'll do it next time, so I put more decoy tickets in it, so this yeah. decoy ticket says, yes. little slug that cannot lie. <laughs> well, people, people will discover what that means when you release your baffling, tonally inconsistent <laughs> Willem video. Our, oh, okay, I'll tell people to get them excited. I'm not, Basically, I'm not taking responsibility for this. Richie and I sat down at some point, we were very inspired, we sat down and we wrote up solo Willem lore. There's a lot of we in this. <laughs> we did, we did, no, like, we did it together, um, Richie did all the, all the, like, word making, because Rich is very good at that. Um, and it's really good, and I found the pictures. All I need now is, uh, is to, like, voice it. And then we're gonna have good solo Willem lore coming up. Um, and that's when people will discover yeah. what that decoy Yeah, means. so when you're like, it's really good. And it then you're good. like, also, keep an eye out for the little slug who cannot tell a lie. <laughs> Okay. No, no, Valerian. The um, the Willem video is sin. No, but she it's got... us. No, it's you. And you, <laughs> you said like, how do I write this part out? So I like, I guess I was like the editor of it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you like did a lot of work because I would tell you like what I want, and you'd be like, okay, that's good. This is how you say it. Oh, that's not. And then you'd actually also edit out what happened. But then you so... you added a little slug who cannot tell a lie. It came. <laughs> 
It came naturally. It's the it, exact it same origin as Ibruitus, which is that I was no. trolling you and you said, It's so cute! Oh, I love him! <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a team effort. The slug is here to stay. Oh, hello, Harvey. Hi, everyone. Hi, Harvey. Okay, so let's try this again. Richie, tell me when to... Uh, you can stop now. Okay, okay, and... <gasps> it says Sinclair grabs a snack in the kitchen. Alright, I will... I will see you later. Um, I, but I already, I already had a snack, so we can ignore this. Is it gonna turn out that all the, all the other tickets are just excuses for you to eat things? <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember these, because I told you I kept putting decoys in there, because we kept postponing this. But I have my coffee here with my Brutus mug. So I'm good. Hmm. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Oh, you can stop when the loading screen happens. Hang on. Okay, you can stop now. I'll stop now. It's, uh, it's long. It says... Happy Holidays. Oh my... Okay, <laughs> Let's, let's do it. it says Sinclair grabs a diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, no, let's do this again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. It says You made this okay, rod for your okay, own back. Name. Okay, good. Who is it's it? Two Kitty 3000. Oh yay! Yay! Congrats. Hype! You see, that wasn't so painful. That was relatively quickly. Right? Yeah. Oh, hey, Bubble. Thanks for the $2. Oh, thank you. I think Bubble is going to stream Dark Souls 3 right now, so good luck with that. Yeah. Check out Bubble, everyone. What's Bubble's um, uh, um, name on stream? Uh, I can't type it here. Hang on. Okay. Bubble is Kathy or Young. Okay. Yes, I know. So do you remember how the um the uh the seals worked? Um like you put them in to find them. Every door has like it's got one of the planets on it and then there's different seals that correspond to the planet. So that's what the numbers on the map screen mean. Mm. So when we see a 6 that's Saturn cuz Saturn's a sixth planet. There's like 3 that's Earth. Mm. Yeah. Did you ever watch a show called Third Rock from the Sun? I did, and that's that's actually how I remembered what planet was which. Yeah. Literally well. while playing this, not like at the time. <laughs> I used to like it. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. It was funny. Uh Noramax suggests Sekiro on ice. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, well, Magpie, there's a lot of Sekiro, like, elements in this. Let's just heal ourselves. Banish demons and all evil spirits.
So this is an area we just straight up didn't see last time. This whole mm -hmm. area is completely new. It's good to see you. We're about ready to climb the mountain to visit the shrine. Everyone is so spooky. Oh, this is my sister, Korea. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. No, not really. Hey, there's something you should know, Goryo. I'm aware of the dangers that lie ahead of us. But it's the only path, isn't it? The sacred ropes are tied at both sides of the gate, so we can't open it. It's been so long. We haven't seen the outside world. Except for this forsaken path, connecting the manor to the shrine. Utsuki. Why don't we go to the shrine? Perhaps we'll find some answers there. Well, what do you think? Shall we go then? What about your father? Still, he said his investigation is still incomplete. Very well. Let's go together. I will lead the way. Take up the rear guard behind the girls. Okay, so uh, Pablo, the plot is that the two ladies in red, they are the children of a guy called Lord Fujiwara, who is the lord of that mansion. Spooky shit is happening there. They've been summoned, and then the character we're currently playing as is like an exorcist who's also going there to try and, like, sort the problem out. And she's uh, talking to them and, like, running into them. And what happens is that you play through, like, it's kind of like Resident Evil 2 where you have the two different scenarios. But the two different scenarios that you play through are very, very similar to each other. Which in Resident Evil 2 was like, oh, that's just a gameplay thing, but here they actually play into it where it's actually two different versions of the same events. And it's deliberately ambiguous, um, up to a point anyway, of, like whose story is the right one. And the answer is it's kind of both and neither. Thank you, Richard. Remember the guardian ape? No. Well. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you did mention that you thought secure Kuan sequel, didn't you? When it when we first saw the like back when it was just shadows die twice. Because it kind of looked like Kuon, like, in terms of the, um, the vibe it had. Right. This is before we knew it was about a Spider-Man ninja, obviously. <laughs> we thought it would be something like this. Spider-Man ninja. 
I'll just save here because there's a fight coming up that I can get stun locked in if I fuck it up, so okay. <laughs> Yeah, the the lag kind of makes them sound like that old. Um, there's like a video of the Spider-Man 2 PS2 game, but they deliberately run it at like half speed, and Spider-Man sounds drunk. <laughs> I gotta deliver these pizzas for Mr. Aziz. Hey! Install that guy's pizza! <laughs> These pizzas aren't even rest <laughs> Yeah, Red Drifter remembers. Dr. Connor's class! <laughs> so you can see, like, the little strip at the top of the menu is red. Uh -huh. That's- that's our health bar. Uh -huh. It's like they're trying to go HUDless, but then they Still need a HUD for your little, um, amulet card things, so... Oh, oh, I thought he was dead. He's just grabbing me. Jeez, just get off me. Ah! <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> so this is another case of, like, this goes nowhere. Oh. But discovering it goes nowhere <laughs> is, like the trigger for something else to happen in another place. Mm -hmm. mm. That's neat. Yeah, the combat in this game is... It's not very good. Which is sort of par for the course for survival horror games of this, like, era. Oh, hang on. There's something on the corpse there. <clears throat> so yeah, people were saying, hey, was that the people from before? Like, it was. Um, you re because, because literally, like, again, time is kind of convoluted. <laughs> you run into, like, projections of them that you have to fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, yep. um... So, this Wednesday, the podcast is already ready, and yeah. it's going to premiere Wednesday, 9 p.m. AST. I put the yeah. link in the chat. Yeah. And uh, it's a surprise podcast with Redgrave. Yay. Yeah. So, for those people who uh, want to hear it, don't forget to set a reminder. It's going to be out in two days. So, surprise podcast <laughs> with Redgrave. That's, You've just yeah, given away the surprise. About... Surely, there must oh, be yeah. some other level to it. Yes. <laughs> No, no, we're just gonna talk okay. about Bloodborne and Dark Souls stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you're really, really interested to hear this podcast cover Bloodborne and Dark Souls, which it never has before. <laughs> That's a, a good surprise. One. A good one. Yeah, no, it, 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 it turned out a... This is the only way up, right? What should we do? Look, the stake is loose. If you walk south a bit, you'll find a hut. There should be a mallet there. Find it. All right, I'll go there. You may encounter a beast along the way. <clears throat> be careful. Um, Pablo, Redgrave does not update his channel anymore, but he still does stuff with us. Mm hmm Um, no, Thomas, I haven't had time to play Death Stranding. I don't- I want to, but I don't know if I will with everything that's, uh, going on. Well, do you still want to recap we'll it then? Because, like... No, I have to play it, so that okay. we recap it chapter by chapter. If it takes ten years to do it, it takes ten years to do it, Richie. Duke Nukem took 10 years to develop, okay? Took 15 years to develop. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay. 
So, this is a part where you can die instantly, so I just saved state to show it off. Mm-hmm. So, remember the Guardian Ape from Sekiro? Yes. So that is a one-hit instant death if you open that door. That was intense. So this is how you do it. <sighs> that was like... Ugh. You have to peek through the window. Huh? And keep your eye on the ape and wait for the ape to leave. Oh my god. Okay, so the ape is left. I guess he's going to work or something. <laughs> you really quickly grab the mallet before the ape gets back. Oh yeah, you could you could see him leave. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, so we're it's safe from the ape. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, and, and another podcast that's ready, but the, the Wednesday after, yeah, is uh, the Pillars podcast. All right. Did. Yeah. So oh. I posted it in chat. The ape saw a slave. We stole his mallet. He's not happy. Oh. Oh no, the ape is on the fire, it's Lawrence. So the ape has been deleted. <laughs> um, Angelton's asking if you want to do Eternal Darkness at some point. Is Eternal Darkness the one where you're a boy and you end up in some, like, nightmarish land? No, Eternal Darkness is a GameCube game by the Legacy of Cain people. That should do it. Oh, I've heard of it. I can't yeah. place it. Yeah. I mean, we could, but we still have to play the Mickey Mouse. Yes, yeah, so I'll to finish Kingdom this Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is the second one that we have to play? Um, the one with the cards. The one with the cards, the rock. What? The rock. The rock is like a popular Russian card. Oh, game. okay, yeah. Hello, Red Drifter. I believe Korea and the others have gone ahead. Let's go. We need to hurry. Well, what is that called? I could get it and I could. Oh, I have it already. Oh. Well, I got I got the HD bigger. collection. There's an HD collection. That's what we were streaming last time. It's been a while. I don't remember. I just remember streamed the first one. Oh, Red Drifter, your messages were deleted. Were you posting links? Because sometimes it'll automatically delete if you post yeah. a link. Oh, I see. The HD collection. Where resting in the cocoon. What could they be thinking? Oh my god, is that the little slug who cannot live? <sighs> oh my 
god, I gotta say, I gotta say, like, I love a Brutus. The little slug is like, it's a special place in It's so friendly, like when we visited the dungeon. Introduced us to everyone. What took you so long? The path was blocked by the Hungry Ones. Ah, well at least you're okay. Look! One has followed you here! Damn those demons! Sakuya! I'm going to stay here. I'll leave everything to you. So sketchy. Take me with you. Never mind. I just be in your way. Please. Got to get to Lord Fujiwara's <laughs> class. <laughs> Look. Uh, okay. Very cool. What annoys me is that, like, I get not having a map of the area, but this game is really hard to navigate, and so even the area you're immediately in won't show up. So it's kind of hard to mm -hmm. tell where things are, like... Well, Bloodborne uh, doesn't have a map. Yeah, but Bloodborne... Well, annoyingly, this is also in 3D, but the camera's static. Mm. So, like, that's, uh... Yeah, that's Uranus. Can't go through there. <laughs> Lol, Red Drifter. See how fun this is to navigate if you don't have a sense of direction. God, is it through here? Oh wait, no, it's is it down there? There it is. You gotta get some parchment paper, and then you can map out your own map. But you can't. Because <laughs> of the way it's designed. God, there's another pathway here, and I cannot figure out where it is. There's like a path to the sh See, I can very clearly see in the distance there is some sort of like... Is it just through here? This is where I came from. Is it through here? Also, despite being like a trained exorcist who can kill apes with magic cards, we can't like climb. If there's like a small shrub or a pile of wicker baskets in the way, there is no way to go past it. Maybe it's through here. Did I mention you That's lose weird. health by running? I just to make... to kill yourself. Like, I'm just trying to hug the wall to... Oh, here we are. God. Okay, good. Good job, Richie. Also, her going, banish demons and all evil spirits every time you try to heal yourself gets kind of irritating. <laughs> oh, Bubbles Dark Souls 3 stream isn't working, so maybe she'll be back. I've been watching. What have you been watching? A tiny House Nation. Yeah. On yeah. You know what a tiny house is? It's a tiny, it's house. A tiny house. Yes. Yeah, and it's so cool. Like the way they've been making it, it's like it's like oh, it's tiny, but here is a chair that turns into. Yeah. Like like all these cool stuff. Yeah. It's neat. Yeah. Would you ever live in a tiny house? They pretty much just live in one room now, so... Oh, so it would be an upgrade. Actually, yeah, it would. I'm not even joking. I think, like, if I were single... Yeah. I'd totally live in a tiny house. Yeah. I mean, I've only ever really lived in apartments, which are... Also tiny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, the last place I lived was, like... 
the whole floor space of the apartment was less than, um, like, just my bedroom that I grew up in. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The last apartment we lived in it was, it was, like, not super small, but, yeah, a tiny house would be an upgrade, definitely. <laughs> Oh my god, Red Drift just said real size house. Oh my god. Yeesh. Underwood says, I love Richie. Lol. Oh, thank you. Lol. Yell Hazard, this is still the room with the pants window. <laughs> it's okay though, it's summer, it's not important. <laughs> the B window was your old apartment. The B window was the tiny apartment, yeah. Yeah. But there was it was really tiny and really hot and stuffy and there's one window you could open but it was above a bush that was covered in bees. <laughs> so as soon as you opened the window all these bees would fly in. Aww. Which was an upgrade from the previous one, which was also tiny and cramped, but you couldn't open the window at all. Oh damn. So I went for like can't can't open the window at all to can open the window but bees. <laughs> Do bees make honey? Yeah, but not not in the apartment. Aw, oh, darn it. <sighs> okay. Jesus Christ. Is it this way? No, that's where we came from. Is it this way? Again, like, this... This is a fully 3D game. Like, they, they could have had a camera that moved. <laughs> they weren't required to stick everything together like this. Like Resident Evil, where it's a fucking nightmare to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, see, see how, like, this is one of the monsters we've been killing throughout the game? And they really pose no mm -hmm. threat. Yeah. Um, now that one is lying down in front of us, we can't go over it. Aww. Like, she can't just step over that thing. It doesn't well, even she reach her ankles. Extra careful. She's just being extra respectful. <laughs> one of the old um, Warhammer 40k games had an interesting kind of take on that. Where mm -hmm. they would block your path with things you could step over normally, but they would say, like, it's it's corrupted, so you can't touch okay. it for religious reasons. Ah. Oh. Like well, that, that's, like, a good way to... Yeah, like, you, you, you would... You couldn't use, like, equipment from dead enemies, because they'd say, like, no, this equipment is, um... This was, like, tainted. Mm -hmm. So it's unholy mm -hmm. if you touch it. So mm -hmm. you'd find all this cool shit lying around, but you weren't allowed to have any of it. Oh... Uh, let's grab some. Gimme. Um, I don't think can your character, character can... Yeah, I don't think you can die, but it, it does drain your health if you do it for too long. Mm. I'm guessing they realized, like, there was no reason not to run in most survival horror games, so they had to come up with a reason why. Oh, yeah. The other thing is, if you're running and, like, a ghost shows up, you fall over. You don't if you're walking. Oh, oh god. What are you doing? Um, oh yeah, Angelton. Um, we might do Eternal Darkness. It's just like... There's a lot of things we want to do. Yeah. But we only have so much time. Yeah, unfortunately. 
Like, half the problem would be fixed if only Rachel yeah. moved to Canada. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So did we kill her sister by accident? Or? No, this is a flashback. Cause like we saw this when we did the previous phase, but we saw okay. it from um Utsuki's point of view. So now we're seeing it like from behind basically. Okay. Uh, Pablo says his co-workers want to make him vegetarian and he needs your help. Oh. No, he needs your help. You're the vegetarian. Yeah, but he's trying to avoid becoming vegetarian. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, honestly, I think, Pablo, maybe it would be good. Like, you can have, like, vegetables and fruits and all that good shit, you know? And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> some tofu. There's, okay, there's some, like, I don't know, spicy tofu that's all at the store that I really yeah. like, actually. Yeah, I, I make my own. Oh, neat. I buy the blocks of it and then I marinate them. Amazing. Uh, go vegan and one up your co-workers. Yeah, right, she's a vegetarian. Yeah, I've been a vegetarian since I was about, like, 14. Yeah. Oh, I've done it wrong. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Good. Mm. Here's another great boss fight. Hang on. Oh, good. I actually died to this guy when I was practicing because it's really hard to see where you're going. Oh my god. And he does this attack- he just did it- yes, he- already. He does this attack where it like- it puts a f it puts like a rotating fireball on the ground. And then as mm -hmm. you stand in it you take constant damage, but because you're stuck with the one angle it's really hard to see like oh. what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll answer it. Someone tell him throwing fireball. Same. Okay. I might try a summon card and see if that works better. 
Are we summoning Baby Yoda? No, we're summoning a horrible uh, ghost woman. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, looking in a box, Baby Yoda. Well, my zombies aren't working very well since they just walked directly into his fireballs. <laughs> they were like, I'm. <laughs> is Squall in the same universe as Kiro? Well, it? it's in Japan. <laughs> I mean, it's the same universe in that sense. Jesus! Anyway, this is the Kiro. combat in Kuon. Uh-huh. How could you hate Baby Yoda, Al Hazred? Yo, Baby Yoda's the cutest. Baby Yoda makes regular Yoda appear cuter, too. Yeah. So my boyfriend and I watched the first episode of the Clone Wars cartoon. Yeah. And uh, regular aged Yoda looked very, very cute. Oh, you just look baby Yoda. So cute. Yeah. Oh my god. You can do it, Richie, with the leaving you. I thought secure kicks place in medieval Canada. <laughs> Okay, we're in business. We're going to save. I guess people were asking about, like, vegetarian food and stuff in chat. Mm -hmm. So, like, what mm -hmm. I do is, um, you buy, like, if you don't especially like vegetables, mm -hmm. I buy the, like, packet soup mixes, like, usually, like, something, like, spicy, like Thai or Indian. And then you just mm -hmm. put that in a pot with vegetables, and then just boil the vegetables in that, and they will just get the flavor of the soup. Smart. Very, very smart. Yeah, I feel the hardest part is, like, because you already have, like, things that you know how to cook, right? Yeah, yeah. And they may contain meat and stuff, so yeah. just, like, learning new things is kind of a hassle in today's society because we're all like tired and sleepy and overworked that's your version of becoming the joker is like everyone is tired <laughs> just want to go to sleep <laughs> yes <laughs> like seriously if like i had someone to vegetarian meals for me like i'm all yeah but you know yeah but uh yeah I also, um, stopped eating sugar, basically. Oh, that's true. But that wasn't yeah. by choice, that was because, like, I got my hormones fixed, and then I stopped having sugar cravings. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, yeah, I don't have any... don't have any advice, mm -hmm. my advice is, like, radically alter your body chemistry. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I guess sweets are also addictive, right? Like, caffeine, yeah. sugar, all that crap, so yeah. Yeah. No, I still have a ton <sighs> of caffeine, I just don't have sugar. Oh. <laughs> I had a sugar-free, yeah, um, yeah. can of Monster before we recorded this. That was my breakfast. The monster? The energy yeah. drink? Yeah. Oh. No, an actual monster. It was like, ah! Oh my god, oh my god. Bully, but you know what? You know what? Oh, that's gonna be a character. Actual monster. Oh. <sighs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the thing about this game is they try to cue you to going places with these, like, huge trails of blood. And I'm like, who has this much blood in them? <laughs> the monster. It's like the Ooh. arrows on the ground at Ikea. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I didn't drop sugar, I just, like, wow, I don't like this anymore. Mm. 
Yeah, I need to. I need to get my life to. I need to start eating better. Me. I need to start exercising again. The worst part is I really like exercising. Yeah. I'm tired all the time, and I. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hang on, that's just. Uh... It's cool. We got a new weapon. Check it out. It's a fan. It's a fan that's red. Girl, oh. that's so cool. Cover girl, put some bass in that walk. Red, okay, a red fan is basically something Katya would have. Yeah. Yeah, so this is her fan. This is cool. Maybe we'll find some uh, rose petals for. Oh, hey, James. Welcome, James. So this, this confused me for ages because I didn't actually realize the path continued beyond a certain point. Because of the camera angles. <laughs> Alright, so you can go through here. I completely forgot this existed. Oh, that's right, I've got the Uranus seal. Where am I going? Oh, and I have to go back to the stupid mulberry tree. <laughs> this is what I mean about, like, like, we talked about Resident Evil, the original one. Uh -huh. And that was always like, oh yeah, you have to use, like, here's a key, and when you go through the key that the door opens, the plot progresses. This is like, no, you have to just arbitrarily go back to, like, another room. And then someone else will be there, and that will make the plot progress. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I've gone the completely wrong way. Jesus Christ. Ah! <sighs> I was practicing this till 4 a.m. last night, okay. Oh, you poor child. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, since people actually showed up to stream, yeah. um, you know, Saturday Night's Not Common, which is, like, mostly pa a patron podcast? Do I? <laughs> it's mostly yeah, so a podcast I'm not told about. It's like an inspirational podcast. It's <laughs> we're, like we're talking, and then I'll say something, and you'll be, ooh, ooh, oh, no, no, oh, you know what you just did? You know what you just did? And then you send me a link, and it's like, oh, this is now episode 17. <laughs> and then you'll talk about one thing, and then you'll say, hmm, I didn't really think this through. And then I'll desperately try to get more than five minutes out of it. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to post an episode. Yeah? Um, it's an enlisted video uh -huh. um because it's only available to patrons so if mm -hmm. you guys want you can click it and link it and you will also be able to see it's episode nine which one we is that about uh baby yoda it's the one <laughs> where i prove to you that uh reborn that our reborn podcast inspired baby yoda hype hype okay speaking of hype <laughs> Yes. You know how people have been merging together in wicker baskets, right? Mm hmm So, like, uh, Lady Fujiwara emerged with the... the centipede. Mm hmm Remember how there were two people here and they had the basket and then they disappeared? Mm hmm mm hmm mm. What does that mean? Let's find out. Uh-oh. I don't know if I want to find out. What's this? Hmm. 
Oh, that's your reaction. Hmm. <laughs> You're reduced to catatonic terror by a tree, but this is just like, hmm. Hmm, something, something seems off. <laughs> Sir, are you aware you have a woman growing out of your shoulder? <laughs> anyway, more thrilling coup on combat. Just, oh my god, these... Camera angles are the absolute worst. Right. Oh yeah, Halty points out this is um this is just Genichiro and Ishin, isn't it? You dead yet? Like what what is gained by making this thing take more than like three hits? No. Like it's just this. Is it dead? Okay, cool. Okay, good. Storage. Hmm. So what are we? What? What is like? Why are we still here? Why don't we like escape? Get out of here? Because we've been okay. sent here to investigate the manor. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure something weird is going on. Can you go back home? Uh. Okay. So this is an extremely Resident Evil moment where we have to drain the water using a crank. <laughs> that only a very special crank will do. Okay. Hey, it's Kureha again. Hi. So this this seems like it makes no sense what I'm doing, but it's actually to get an item that I need later on. Mm -hmm. It's just to save us backtracking later on, so I'm just gonna okay. grab the yeah item that we need. It's cool. It's very cool. Mine. Oh, God's sake, Kareha. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go around here. People are calling you Robot Sin. Are you sure your, like, <laughs> mic is okay? Because you sound fine to no, me, I'm and I'm, now I'm wondering if, like, um, you're being picked know. up twice or something. Oh, uh, I don't know, maybe. Um... You 
Maybe your Australian internet is making me too up. She sounds different from the podcasts. Yeah, she's in a different room. It might be that. Yeah, different room, different microphone. Um, also, my boyfriend, before I adjust his the audio. So yeah. So that could be it as well. A little echoey, okay. Yeah, she was echoey. Yeah, yeah. we recorded with Michaela, and you were a bit echoey there, so yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so last time I did this, a ton of ghosts appeared. So I'm just gonna make me give myself the fan. Hang on. Oh, okay, they're not appearing. <clears throat> oh my. So that leaf I just picked up is basically saying, "Hey, go get the mirror," but. I got it already, mm. so... <clears throat> oh, yeah, so, yeah, I got... I finally cleaned up, like, the new place a bit. Yeah. And so now I have my own room at the table. And my sister worked in a calendar. So she got crazy calendar discounts of a bunch of calendars. And one of them is the calendar right here on my desk. Yeah. And I write down all the podcast stuff there. Look, it's so cool. Like we have a recording Thursday, and then on the first, I have to upload stuff to uh, Fireside, and then we have another recording next month, and recording Thursday. Yeah. Did you do that before? Did you tell my room before? I sound like a ghost? Well, it's like thematic, because we're playing a scary game. You sound fine oh. to me, so I'm wondering if it's like my setup is picking you up twice or something. Mm -hmm. But I, I only have, like, the input and the output. So I don't know why you'd be coming through twice. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we think uh, Demon Souls Remastered might be a PS5 launch title. <gasps> okay, Remember Richie? I showed you? Yeah. Uh, you lost that audio, but at I was with me and Gay, and he asked me if the remake's coming within the next few years, and I said yes. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember what date I said, maybe I guess the date. Uh, but the point is I said yes, and I'm a little... Yeah. More, more combat, you ready? Yes! These things do a ton of damage. Oh, they're like uh, Rosarius Sled. Yeah, it's actually, it's the same thing. That's what, exactly what I thought when I first saw it. It's like, oh yeah. People are being put in chests and reborn as worms. I remember this. Reborn? Jesus. Ah. <laughs> just, what? just. Doing good, really I'm not asking for it to be bayonetta, but like, <laughs> this kind of controls like crap. Be sure to make lots of spooky noises during combat. Add to the ambience. Okay. Was that good? It's very good. Thank you.
Um, yeah, a lot of people, uh, Ruthven, was, Ruthven, was saying, like, that they wanted a remake, and it's like, I don't think From have the resources to do a remake themselves, and I wouldn't trust a, a um, third party to do it, basically. Mm -hmm. I have a problem, Richie. Go on. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why not the decoy? Uh, <laughs> decoy papers said that I have to go snack, right? Uh huh. But no. So I'm gonna go get a snack and a very big. Okay. 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 Um, no, I, I'll just do this while she's... We will still be playing when she gets back, unless she makes dumplings again. Um, From are, like, not an especially large company. So, I don't think they really have the time to, like, do a Demon Souls remake and do Elden Ring at the same time. Also, Miyazaki has specifically said, like, he, he doesn't want to go back to Demon Souls. He said specifically, like, it it's like, it's one of the first things he wrote, so going back to it makes him feel a bit, like, embarrassed. Like, like finding something you wrote a long time ago and being like, oh. Also, like, um, Demon Souls is a Sony exclusive thing, so... Whereas Elden Ring is gonna be, like, multi-platform. My only concern with the Demon Souls remaster would be if they fucked up the lighting again, because they really did that with Dark Souls Remastered. Like, there are parts of that game that look terrible. And, like, Demon Souls, the lighting is so well considered that... I don't know. Uh... Even, like, Bloodborne's lighting had to be, like, redone pretty late. There's, like, all these old screenshots that look really good. And then... I think it was just, like, causing performance issues, so they had to be like, oh well. Well, Angelton, from what we can tell, Demon Souls 2 is Bloodborne, and they just kind of made it its own thing. Uh... No, Dark Souls Remastered is, is like, it's a good game, because it's literally just Dark Souls, but they they did, like, stuff to the lighting, and it's it's really not, like parts of it look much okay, like, Isolith looks good um, like, the exterior parts of Anor Londo look quite good, but then you run into, like, the interior of Anor Londo, and it, it looks like they just did nothing like, it, it's almost like it hasn't got lighting if you ever see, like, Interior and Orlando on the remaster, it's like, Jesus. It's like I'm watching a tutorial and they're like, okay, here we are, and now we're gonna add bump mapping. And, like, Seath's Garden looks terrible, but then, like, I know Isolith looks really good because it's, like, completely dark, but the lava is illuminating everything. And when you fight Gwyn, it's really good because it's, like, almost in total darkness, and you see... Like wind lit by the flame. I know they're going for a hell atmosphere here, but the choice of like red on red makes it kind of hard to tell where the doors are. Where are we going? Oh my god, face the. Is it this way? Okay, keep going this way.
What's the story of Kuon? Um, we'll find out soon. Suon, you might say. There's someone on YouTube called Exorcizzle. Um, she has a video up. If you just if you just look up like the story of Kuon explained, she goes through it, and it's like extremely comprehensive, and it's pretty much the only like Kuon story video that I've I think is out is out there. But um Yeah, she goes into a lot of detail. We actually like I spoke to her and she said she'd be interested in coming on to talk about Kuon. Oh, okay, like, with regard to, like, the George R.R. Martin stuff in, uh, Elden Ring. From what I have heard... Um, the idea behind that is that Martin is... Martin basically built the world. He did, like, the, the history and everything. But then the actual story of the game and the characters and everything that you're playing through, that's all Miyazaki. Yeah, Martin's not writing it. Martin did the world building and then Miyazaki has done the story. Which I guess is why, like, the leaked shots just look like Dark Souls. This is the right way to go. Hello. Hello. So, what's going on? Did um, you get evil? No, I'm just running past these stupid cocoon people because I can't be bothered fighting them. Oh, something's happening. Yep. And all evil spirits. <laughs> Just every single time. <laughs> Just use a bell like a normal person. Okay. Uh, I think library is the next destination. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, no, Bedsheet, the Elden Ring, um, there's, like, concept art of one of the, like, they released it at the same time, and it's one of the bosses, and it's, like, it just straight up looks like like a giant like Dark Souls boss like it's got the huge like got a veil on its face and everything and it's like yeah this just looks like Dark Souls if you showed it to me I'd assume it was like an early version of Yorm or something I think this game started out as Dark Souls oh yeah adaptability in, in 2 completely screwed me over as well What just happened? She ran into the guy who's doing the Kuon ritual, and he explained the, what he was doing. But he didn't kill her? No, he, need, he, he wants people alive for the ritual. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, have I played Nier Automata? Yeah, I, uh, I beat it when it came out. I haven't played it since then. 
I also beat it. Yeah? Even though, according to Rich, I never finish a game. Why, why aren't we talking about Nier Automata, then? Why are we talking about Death Stranding? Um, we could. Nier Automata is much better than Death Stranding. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I mean, we were supposed to, we just didn't have time, and we talked about that first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, creepy dolls. Hang on. Oh, for God's sake. I am actually gonna have to save state, because I don't... When I fight these things, they actually sometimes kill me. Uh, I did get all- I did get all 14 endings of Nier Automata. Hey, <laughs> I didn't get all 14. <laughs> I got some of them. Are there 26 endings? Is it like one for each letter of the alphabet? Yeah, yeah, it's one for each letter of the alphabet. Mm. Well, these puppet ladies I'm summoning kind of suck. <laughs> it's got 26 endings. Yeah, but some of them are like, fast. Like just well, a, lo a lot of them are doesn't... joke endings. Like, yeah. It only really has, like, three endings, and then it's got, like... Oh, well, there's endings A, B, C, uh, D, and E. So, like, that's the five main mm -hmm. ones. And then, like, F through Z are just, like, jokes. They're things like, like, you fail a mission and it just gives you a unique game over, or, like, you... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, there's one where, like, 2B can eat a fish, and if she does, like, it gums up her insides and she just dies. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we're nearing the end. But, like, just through the course of playing the game, you'll get A, B, C, D, E. Like, that's just the structure of it, because it expects you to play it multiple times. Mm hmm. Um... Will there be an Armored Core one? Well, um, we streamed Armored Core and, like... Uh, Xenolalia... Which Armored Core? Which, the one with the robots. Yeah, but which robots? Well, I'll there's level, I'll with, level with you. And there's the... Or it's the Corporation robot. Yeah, yeah, you were there, okay. but... You likely oh, don't no. remember it due to circumstances that astute viewers. You gotta kill homeless people. Yeah, Very yeah, bad. yeah. Hang on. Where am I even going? Oh, it's. Am I going back to the light? Can I even go to. <laughs> Do I have to go up? Oh my god, that's so spoopy. It starts Look, off spoopy and then you're stuck here for ages to going around in circles. <laughs> like, god, this hell is so hard to navigate. <laughs> What's this one? Oh god. So what games uh, are everybody looking forward to? Richie, are there any games you're looking forward to? No. Oh no, I want to play that carrion game that they showed off at E3 that was like 
you play as a giant lump of flesh that's going around a space station absorbing people. Oh yeah! Did they show it off at E3? They showed a trailer for it. Oh, I... well, I saw it before it was cool. When? Um, I think they had it, um, post the red or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems really neat. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah? Like, uh, the thing is... Just... Will I have time to play it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got... I was excited for Outer World. And my boyfriend got it for me. Like, it's a little gift. But I haven't had time to play it. And same with Death Stranding. I played, like, the first chapter. You played, you played it a bit, because you were like... Yeah. Oh, you yeah, started playing, so I started playing Outer Worlds, and then half an hour later you messaged me, I'm gonna have to kill everyone on the planet. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's it. Like, it's not really playing it. It's not very Wait. long from what I've heard. Yeah. Like, like Dahlia played it, and she's like, or she finished it, like, in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know. Shh, like... where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I did this, I did this last night, and it was fine, and now I'm just like... Oh yeah, there'll be some arbitrary, like, thing has happened that changes the progression, but it's not on the map. Okay. <clears throat> is lab- lab is locked? I can't go in lab. Okay. Uh, lab thing. is locked. Ruthen, is this your first time on a stream? Oh, hang on. I've got the right thing, don't I? Hang on. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Okay, good. I can open it. Um, they must have realized how annoying this is because they actually bound the map to, like, the L1 button, so it's much easier to access. Oh. Oh, it's Ruthen's first time on the stream! Hey! Oh. Dude, McDude, maybe it's your first time here as No, the other way! Oh god! Alright. It's mm -hmm. this way. So, Ruthen and other people uh, that are here, tell us how you found this name company. Dude. But this game is so spooky. I guess one of the issues for me with games that yeah. are hard to navigate is that you just get stuck in one place. Okay. Yeah. That's what happened with the game. <laughs> the dark is Oh no! No! It's so spooky! Oh my god, she's gonna break the bars. Okay, we're at the end. Oh my god, we're not ready to run. Freedom! Horrible, horrible freedom. Oh. Alright. Oh, thanks, Ruthen. Roland is asking Please. what's your favorite. Favorite what? Oh, ice cream. ice cream. Um, ice cream makes me sick, so I don't need it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Angelton is uh, asking controversial questions. Mm-hmm. Owens with sin is part of the gimmick. Well, you can... You, how much do you think is part of the gimmick? Oh, oh, oh. Also, Richie. is it a gimmick if we act like this when we're not recording? Because I've got news for you. Like, there's no difference. Actually, on, on the recent... Was it Saturday Night Snack Covenant who revealed that everything... You revealed what? That everything is scripted. Oh yeah, this is... We spend hours and hours developing... <laughs> developing these streams and podcasts. 
Yeah. We workshop and them. Then... It's not just that we're talking and you're like, oh, 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 oh you know what you did? Oh, 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 and then just hit record. <laughs> okay, it's cool on phase. I'm going to break for like a minute so, okay. and come okay. back. You can talk to people in, in chat. Okay. Okay. Hi, people in chat. How's everyone? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's 2023. First stream of the new year. Woo! Hype! Oh no, I forgot to sneeze, but will I hit the mute button? I hit the mute button this time for the scene. You listen to the lock shield? Isn't that the best ever? I think the, like, popular videos on the entire channel. I basically found you by wondering where did you Ah, Aw, cute. What made you decide to initially- Well, interestingly enough, uh, I really love the Bloodborne, and I found Dark Souls stuff after playing Bloodborne, and uh, I would read like a lot of Bloodborne theories, because I didn't really understand what was going on, but it was about it. And um, I stumbled upon JSF's Richie's uh, channel, and I was like, "My, this is like, this is the best explanation I've heard. This is what I needed to hear. Now I understand it." And like his presentation with the videos and stuff was very like research oriented and stuff. And at the time, I was working at a job where, um, like it was like data entry and cognitive tests and very like. Um, I guess monotone work, like once you learn it, you just, you know what to do, like there's nothing new to learn. So actual research aspect of my life was this. And so I was like, oh, well, you know, I like editing videos and this is interesting and the way JSF presented it is really cool too. So maybe I could do some more videos. So it was like a combination of liking to video edit, liking Bloodborne, find me Rich's channel. <laughs> you found us, and then you went to step two. Aww. Yeah, uh, Richie enlisted his find by googling, like, the bastard's curse, like, the line. And I think the uh, little things, not the little things, the uh, up close, Bloodborne up close is on the channel, but you gotta go to playlists. <clears throat> Lazarus, that's, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Pablo. I hope you're okay. Wait, this is live. Yeah, this is, uh. This is a stream, a live stream, so yes, this is that. It's not a premiere. I mean, it's actually all pre-recorded, and since I'm all to say, that's how I answer the question. Hi, I'm back. Hi, Hi, back. good, how you doing? Why did you say good? I didn't ask you how you were doing. I noticed one of the one of the questions up there is, "Do you intentionally annoy Richie?" And I believe the answer is pretty <laughs> uncontroversially yes. It comes naturally. You'll see. Oh my god. I promise I'll find a way to save you. We're playing someone we haven't seen before, but someone who's been mentioned. Uh oh.
sense a strong presence to the south. Yes, I can feel it too. Could he be around here? Yes, Master. The manor's curse is strong. He can't be far. Damn him and his unorthodox ways. What in the world is he doing? Doman, <laughs> I shall never understand you or your wicked ways. I believe we should go south. Zenki, Goki, shall we? Yes, Master. Sam his wish is my command. Okay, Roland, this is Kuon. It is a PS2 game by From Software. And we're playing it because people were interested in older From Software games. And this has a lot in common with uh, Sekiro. And a lot in common with, uh, like, some parts of Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. So remember when uh, Doman, the evil guy, was talking about, like, you're the apprentice of Abe no Seime? Mm -hmm. This is Abe no Seime, so we're playing as her now. Oh, snap. We're gonna kick some demon butt? Yeah, she's extremely overpowered. See, she has a ton of these, like, summon cards. That's really cool. <clears throat> All right. Lol, dude. Oh, Rich, you played Eternal Ring as well. Yeah, I played Eternal Ring for a little bit, yeah. I can stream PS2 games fine from the actual console, but, um, got some issues doing it from the emulator, because it, like, just doesn't like OBS. Mm -hmm. So Eternal Ring went fine, because I was just, like, getting the input from the PS2, but here I'm running it on an emulator in the PC, and mm -hmm. it's, um, yeah, it's, really it cool. chugs a fair bit. And weirdly, like, it's pretty much just Kuon that chugs like this. It must be, like, hard to emulate. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I would like FromSoft to go back to mecha games, honestly. <clears throat> Hang on, let's, let's grab that spear. A whole bunch of movies. A bunch of what? And movies. And, um, I want to get my boyfriend to watch Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. But it's not on any of the streaming services. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was beautiful. And, uh, we saw Aladdin. Yeah. The movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Like El Hazred, I, yeah. I got Titanfall. Um,. It was on a PS sale, Titanfall 2. Mm -hmm. So I have yeah. that. It was free, actually. It was on PS Plus. Mm -hmm. I have not installed it. I just haven't. Have I watched The Princess Bride? Yes, I have. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> All you basically have to do is make it to the um, place we were before, but I guess the door is locked for some reason. <laughs> Redgrave likes Titanfall a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe we can have him on to talk about it. Hmm. Hmm. All I know is there's like a time travel section in it. Oh, for God's sake, uh, Abe. Spoilers. That is like. 
What happened? She can't step over this thing that's like just a pile of like placemats. She doesn't want to get her shoes dirty, okay? It's a very dusty place. Where am I going? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the floor? Somebody's asking if you were a Wither fan? Do you mean Witcher? Oh, Witcher. Um, I have Witcher 3, I have not played it, and I have not seen the TV show or read the books. Um, I've played Witcher 3 for- Yeah. I've seen the TV show. Yeah? Yeah. My favorite game of all time, follow as well as Bioshock 1 and Portal 1 and 2. Good. Yeah. What is your favorite game of all time, Richie? Um, I don't know, because I tend to play them, like, too much, and then I'm like, oh, this isn't that interesting. <laughs> There's a an SNES game called uh, Ogre Battle. Mm -hmm. That I'm, like, obsessed with, but I've almost never... I finished it, like, twice because it's so goddamn long that I get about halfway through and I'm like, I can't keep playing this. Thanks for coming, dude, my dude. See you later. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I feel like... I love Fallout 3 so much, you can never play too much of it. Yeah. Like, I... Oh my god, I can't. I wouldn't... I... Played Fallout New Vegas again. Yeah. And like, Richie, I'm not. I shouldn't be allowed to play it because I like started playing it and like, boom, the entire weekend is gone. What, what did I do? I played like Fallout for 75 hours straight. Yeah. Uh, but, people are asking about Ogre um, Battle in chat. It's okay. so like uh, Ogre Battle is an. It's a Super Nintendo real-time strategy game, which is a really odd-sounding combination, but it works very well, and it's incredibly like. There's just this incredible level of complexity to the whole thing. It has, I think, 12 different endings. Um, and it has all these, like, really sort of weird, like, I guess soulsy like systems. I smell something. It's coming from this mulberry tree. <laughs> yeah. This hole was created by a metal spike. Yeah, Ogre Battle has, like, a ton of... Are in conflict. Oh, it's just like if you, like, do this thing at this Metal specific time of day in this city, this energy. thing happens. That you would never know about. Who would disrupt this balance? And people who, like, don't... Where could the spike have gone? Don't grasp the mechanics of it end up, like, locking themselves out of half the game. And, like, my current campaign in Ogre Battle's going really badly. Because I was trying so hard not to, um... Not to basically be evil. Mm -hmm. That my characters ended up too good. Oh. Which means that I'm locked out of a whole lot of really powerful classes. Because, like, if you're too good, you can't become, like, a wizard and stuff like that. Because that's considered to be an evil <laughs> profession. And get, like, when I say my party, I mean there's like 50 of them, and it's like you have to balance and micromanage all of them. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Did you notice they're called Hibari? Who? The cards yeah. you get that you shoot fire with. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's true they are! <laughs> mm. Did you appreciate that? That's very good. Thank you. 
Yeah, o Ogre Battle has a system where, like, if you're... Basically, if you kill something weaker than you, you become evil. And if you kill something stronger than you, you become good. Oh, so you that's ha cool. You have to, like, balance out the, um... The alignment. So what happens is if you make a unit and you're like, wow, these guys are really powerful. I'd better use them a lot. Eventually they become <clears throat> evil. Which can yeah. can be good sometimes, because like like wizards are an evil profession, like berserkers and stuff are evil, so you, you wanna kinda have some evil characters to do those things, but it can lock you out of basically progressing if too many of your characters become evil. <laughs> Yeah. Why do I not get a map? God, this is horrible. This way. Richie, would you like me to sing you a motiv- A what? Motivational song. Okay. The song of your people. Maybe. You ready? Yeah. Reap on! Did that help? Well, no, because the issue is I don't know where I'm going. It's not to do with, like... <laughs> okay, I think, I think we're on the way. Oh, you see, it did help. Yeah, she's really helped. Look at her. Just like, thank you, Sin. You humming the sooner awakens music from Reborn gave me the strength to escape from the underworld. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> to the golden sword of the heavens. <laughs> Just smack a child. Immortal protection. Demons above and below, beware. Taste the wrath of God and be torn asunder. <laughs> huh? So, you're one of Doman's disciples. Where is he? The master. That man. The power of reborn compels you. As sacrifices. To perfect his magic. Hmm. Just what I would have expected. Utsuki fell victim to evil magic. She is somewhere in the cave. Please help her. All right. I understand. I will do my best. I think two spikes will be enough. I guess that's the Kuan equivalent if we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> this looks a lot like a boss arena, doesn't it? Mm, a little. Um, Sin, we don't know why Sin sounds like a robot. We'll look into it. Hang on, when we're done. Mm -hmm. You know what you just said reminded me of? You know that the lawnmower man? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I don't really remember. I just a kid. Yeah. Just, it was weird. Right. There, there was a monkey. Yeah. And a lawnmower man. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Sin is recording in a new room. Hmm. Yeah, I need that carton. <laughs> How many egg cartons would I need? I'll lick one in the fridge. You'll have to. Exit. You'll have to live off omelets for a couple of weeks. Someone gave this to me. <laughs> I've been saving it for a 
long time. Long time. Oh, you must be Utsuki. Oh, she has a dog? Yeah. so loud now. I feel calmer. And in accordance with my father's wishes, I'm no longer of this world. I seek living humans. I'm so thirsty. Someone screen kept that. Just the sight of flesh and blood drives me mad. So... I burn the corpses. I do know. The mulberry tree needs to be sealed. If fortune is on our side, we won't be too late. Richie, someone scream cap what? We must That's alright. have more spikes in order to accomplish this. I know. I will die here. That is your choice to make, but... What about your father? He used his own daughter as a sacrifice? If he did this, he could do worse. Your father must be killed. Um, Red Drifter, they do burn the mulberry tree. There's, there's two mulberry trees, basically. We burned one in the previous phase. And we're going to try to kill the next one with the spikes. I guess after this... Oh yeah, Uthmathar, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not... Um, the bushfires are about, like, 250 miles away, so, like, I'm personally okay. The worst we get where I am is that the smoke sometimes blows yeah. over, so, like... There've been a couple of days when, like, you go outside and there's just, like, a haze of smoke everywhere. And, like, I'm fine, but, um, people who have breathing difficulties are having to stay indoors. But, um, yeah. Lots yeah. of animals are dead. Yeah. Just sad. Hey, we got the nine spikes. Yay. So, um, at some point, since we now know this game, we could record a gaming on the elf. No, but remember, I, I got I, Exorcism said she'd do it with us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, that's super. Yeah, she, she has the only, um, Kuan story recap video on YouTube. Well, I so thought I it was Fatal Frame. I got the... No, she does both. Oh, okay. So I just messaged her and said, like, hey, will you talk about Kuon with us? And she said, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, she wants to do Fatal Frame as well. And um, Laura wants to do another one of the Fatal Frames. Oh, no, sorry. Mi mm -hmm. Mimi wants to do one of the Fatal Frames. Laura wants to do... God. Um, one of the Miku ones. I'm trying to keep this all in my head. I need to write it down. We have a Google picture. It's separated into columns yeah. and colors. Yeah, and like, Vivian wants to do um, Eternal Felina, so I have to get talk to her about that. She messaged me mm -hmm. the other day and was like, hey, like, I'm still interested in that if you want to do it. Sure. Okay. So we have the... We have the nine spikes. Uh -huh. I was wondering why it was taking so long for the Quan Cocoon to form. No wonder this is your doing, Sene, you bitch. I was wondering why I hadn't seen you for a while. So is he merging with the spike? Yeah, he's he's experimenting. But is because he looks relatively normal. No, you you merge and then like you start to decay unless you merge with something else. 
Oh. He wants to merge with Seimei, so he, like, absorbs her power. Oh. Yeah. He's intense. How many minions can you have on? Pardon? How many minions um, can you have Um, I think on? just the one. Fire yeah. And dodging it? He just makes like a shield thing. Yeah, this is. That's intense. Looks like a tough costume. Well, same as dead. Uh, let's remember what way to go this time. Oh, that boss is tough. They could have given you a map for this, is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, hang on, there's something else. What else have you got for me? Okay. Doman's All My Evil Plans book. <laughs> Alright, is it this way? Safe state here in case it happens again. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Let's hang on. Let's use Zenki this time. That's, no, Goki. Okay. What? I summoned it and it just disappeared. Oh, there it is. It's like I had to go. Oh, it's like a god. I get it. So that's very useful, actually, in this game. Okay, his, his stupid shield thing also blocks my spear. So, there's that plan didn't work. So uh, how are you supposed to beat him? I think you just keep hitting him. Sankey! Miss Richard would like to have him as a teacher at school, but that's why this little girl is mean to him. <laughs> well, there you have why it. This... <laughs> why this 34 year old? 35 <laughs> soon. <girl>. I know. <laughs> mm. well, mean to him. <laughs> I am doing a teaching degree, so... Yeah. This guy has a lot of iframes. Like, a lot. <laughs> You know what else this game doesn't have? What? Aiming. You just sort of face them and hope for the best. Oh, is that it? Okay. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think so. Does I see a lady in red? <clears throat> yeah, that, that's who we played as in the um, Yin phase. Yeah, but are we going to fight ourselves? Uh, no, I think this is the ending. Dragging him up? Presumably she's dragging him to the mulberry tree. Ah. Hang on, let's just save state here. Okay. In case he has a second form. <laughs> this nameless king just appears. <laughs> stop! Please stop! Utsuki! 
Um, uh, Richie, do you have a teaching? Are you getting a teaching degree? It's uh, just a teaching oh, certification, and then it's whatever they want me for after that. <clears throat> it's a certification, and then it's just anything you have a demonstrated, like, um, expertise in. See, this is what I was hoping Sekiro would be like. Yeah. yeah. So what's up with the creepy kid? They're the spirits of the mulberry trees. Oh. Um, yeah, because when they did the trailer and there was like, this is before we knew it was Sekiro, there was this, like the blood-stained wall with the, the sort of spike in it, and it said Shadows Die Twice. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be, like, not the same gameplay, but tonally more of like a, like a Kaidan kind of thing. Is this the end? Yeah. Okay, so what's in the chest? The people crawled into it, didn't yeah, you see? Yeah. yeah. But, no, but like what? Are they gonna merge? Is it gonna be- Well, you'll see soon. Oh. Don't be afraid. It's safe. Come on now. Never been allowed outside before. This is wonderful. I never expected. It's a good little kid and not a creepy kid. No, it's it's Utsuki, reborn. From now on. Me on. Yeah, so she was reborn as a good kid. Well, she's reborn as a kid. Well, she was always a good kid, but now she's not decaying. Okay. Forever, or is she gonna have to be merging with it? No, I think she's just a normal kid now. So they broke the crush. Um, me until they, someone does it again. Oh. Is there Kuan too? No. Two on. So they broke the curse. <laughs> Okay, there. That's very cute. That's a cute ending. This game is very uh, she's cute. She's the Dragonair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She looks like the Dragonair from uh, Sekiro. Alright. Yeah. That was Kuon, finally. Yeah, bravo. That is the end of Kuon. Uh, sorry, there was like a six month gap in between. <laughs> between Yin and Yang. Richie. Richie was building up the courage to play it. It's very scary. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah. Hmm. Guess that's it. Does yeah. anybody have any questions? Yeah, this is FromSoft. That's why we were playing it. Because uh, I'm a FromSoft <laughs> fan from like way way back like um late 90s 
Mm-hmm. And that's I got into Dark Souls that way because I recognized the developer. So mm-hmm. I, I have a ton of like old FromSoft stuff lying around. Uh, what's with the Wicked? Okay, so hang on, I'll just I'll turn the sound down so we can like talk. Mm-hmm. Hang on, uh, let's mute the emulator. Okay, so thank you. It was lovely. It was lovely. What's happening? I had to move my legs and Ingrid got annoyed because she was asleep. Aww. Okay, so what was happening was that Doman, right, the guy we killed at the end, he was trying to do a ritual called the, the Kuon ritual. The name Kuon is like, it's a kind of a pun that only works in Japanese where it's like the word... um it, kuon means like eternity, but you can break the con- the two like ku and on down, and it, it's nine grudge. So the idea is like the kuon ritual is also the ritual of nine grudges, where you had to like sit in that wicker chest with another like form of life, and then you would like assimilate it into yourself. But you you had to do it nine times each time with a like a more complex form of life. So you'd start with like a like a bug and then like a bird and then all the way up to a person. So what Doman was trying to do was he was trying to lure um, uh, Abe no Seime, who was the lady we played at at the end. She's like a really powerful exorcist. So he wanted to lure her to his like to to Lord Fujiwara's mansion. So that he could then complete his Kuon ritual with her in the chest. So he would, like, absorb her powers and become even stronger. And then, drawn into that, there's, like, the Fujiwara family, because that's who's running the the estate that it's set in. The beginning of it, um, I guess, like, we'll go into, like, the, the weird, um, unreliable narrator stuff. At the start of the game, you played as Utsuki, who was the lady in the red robe, right? And then you played through again as the woman in, in yellow that we played as through the other phase. And the two phases, like, the information contradicts each other. And you might initially think, oh, that's just a gameplay thing. It's like Resident Evil 2 with scenario A, scenario B. Um, they're just letting you play through different different parts of the game. Um, they're just, like, recycling content with different characters. But what's actually happening is that Utsuki was in the chest merging the whole time. And the reason it's all messed up is because, like, the first chunk of Utsuki's scenario is actually a dream. And it's the dream she's having when she's in the chest. And it's mixed up with the memories of her sister who she's merging with. That's why none of it really makes any sense. And that's the reveal at the end, that, like, when Utsuki wakes up in the chest and you realize, oh, she's been down here the whole time. So then when you play... Yeah, yeah. And the reason Utsuki's sister is trying to merge with her is because Utsuki's sister... Like, she said it, we saw her say it on screen, she's like, I died. So Mm -hmm. Utsuki's sister died, and then to resurrect her, they used the Kuon ritual to bring her back. But that made her... Like, she needs to continuously absorb things to, like, stay alive. That's why she's all decaying. So she's trying to absorb Utsuki. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Ku- yeah, Ku- Kureha is trying to absorb Utsuki. And, like, this intro here you see, like, this is this is not something we see in the game. This is like, happened off-screen. This is Lord Fujiwara. Mm-hmm. So what's happening is that's Kureha. And she's trying to stay alive by merging with people. So she has captured and killed Lord Fujiwara. And she's dragged him in the, in the wicker chest to merge with him to stay alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, La- Lady Fujiwara had tried merging with a centipede. That's why she had the centipede head. Mm-hmm. They're a little spooky. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah, the, the timeline is a mess, but it's intentionally a mess because, like, the characters are merging together, so their memories merge together at the same time, basically. That's really neat. Yeah. And, yeah, this, um... This came out, had a very, very limited release, and it got terrible reviews. And oh. as a result, it became very, very rare. Oh. So if you try to buy a copy of Cool One now, it's like two or three hundred dollars. 
So that's why okay. we're running it on an emulator because um, I will not buy a copy of Kuon. Actually, okay, if, if if our Patreon is successful enough, I will buy a copy of Kuon and I will stream it on original hardware, but not today. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And um, from okay. memory, like I think one of the scenario writers on this also worked on Sekiro. So you can you can see a lot of connect like you can see a lot of FromSoft stuff in here that comes back later on, like yeah. the people reborn in the chests as the the bug things is like similar to like what Rosari is doing in Dark Souls Three where the people go into the basket and come out as the worm, mm -hmm. and like the centipedes like the the boss that's like head falls off and becomes a centipede that's in Bloodborne obviously it's in Sekiro. Mm -hmm. Um, centipedes, Roland, are, like, I very frequently see centipedes used to, like, signify that something is dirty in Japanese media, but I don't know if it's just, like, a specific reference or it's just shorthand. Because uh -huh. you also have, like, the vermin in, in Bloodborne as centipedes, and, like, yeah. yeah. If you look up depictions of, like, hell or, like, somewhere that's corrupted, they usually use centipedes as kind of a shorthand for, like, stay away from this place. Mm -hmm. oh. Like you, we, you know, like we know Mai. People chatting might not. Yeah. Mai is a friend of ours who's Japanese, and like I talk to her about this stuff a lot. And mm -hmm. something she repeatedly like points out is like, there's some stuff that you'd think oh, I see this a lot. It's like a folkloric thing. It's like a mythic thing. That's what they're referencing. But also, an awful lot of it is just like just like a, a trope that became popular through like pop culture mm -hmm. like we talked about this with redgrave where like there's an awful lot of of video games from japan that will have like a castle that is floating in the sky and chained there with like huge right. iron chains and mm -hmm. I, I talked to maya about it and she's like no that's nothing to do with like a myth or anything it's just like someone did it once in an anime and it looked cool so then everyone <laughs> just copied it <laughs> Um, the wicker chest, I don't know. The The wicker chest is meant to be like a cocoon. That's why they keep talking about silkworms. Because the idea is, like, it's happening here because at this estate there's the two mulberry trees. The mulberry trees have the silkworms on them, and the silkworms are spinning the silk that's, like, used in the cocooning that, like, is part of the kuon ritual. And the two little kids, like, they're the spirits of either of the trees. So when the tree... Mm. That's why, like, when we burned the tree down... Um, one of the kids died, and then at the end of it, when she's ham um, Abe's hammering the the spikes into the tree, that's killing the other kid. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, at the end of it, like we shoved everyone in the in the wicker thing, and it came out like Utsuki came back to life, but she's like reincarnated as a child. She doesn't have the memory of what happened, and she doesn't have the sickness anymore. Mm. Yeah. And, like, I guess when Exorcism has, like, laid this out, like, quite well in her video, which I don't have. Actually, I'll look up the link to it now that I don't have to worry yeah. about the frame rate shitting itself. Yeah. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of um, pop culture references in Souls that you, like... I guess people, because it's, like, pop culture you're not familiar with, people don't realize it's, like, a reference and it's sort of jokey. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, when um, when you use the Crystal Ring Shield in Dark Souls 1, it shoots out this, like, like ring of light, and that's, like, an, an attack from Ultraman. That they're just, like, shoving in the game. It's like, look, it's Ultraman. Okay, here we go. So what I just posted in chat, that is Exorcizzle's video on, like, <laughs> basically laying out the story of Kuan. Her whole channel is, like, survival horror stuff. So if you're into that, like, you should check her out. She goes very in-depth. <laughs> and yeah, um, we, um, I spoke to her and, like, she said, yeah, that'd be cool if she came on sometime. So Excellent. if we cover Kuan, uh, we will bring her on. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. 
Okay, well, thanks for coming, everyone. Rich. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. I guess that's it for today's stream. Do you have anything you want to say, like, before we uh, close up shop? Um, like what? You know, I don't I'm know. not good at speak. You're the speaking part of the store, Richie. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you for coming, everyone. Oh, that's so cute. It's Lambo. Oh. Yeah, and we're definitely going to cover it. Yeah. 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 What other FromSoft games do we have to cover? Um. Thankfully, like, I have a lot of them because they got, they got, um, PAL releases that were, like, pretty well supported. Mm -hmm. Like, I have, I could get Kuon if I could afford it. Um, I have, mm -hmm. like, Cookie and Cream. I've got the Kingsfield ones. I've got Eternal Ring. We never got Shadow Tower, actually, in, um, the, uh, PAL region. Oh, so, Shadow Tower with Cassidus! Yeah, so, like, I... Yeah, I'll look into emulating Shadow Tower Abyss because I, mm -hmm. like, just there's the only copies available mm -hmm. are NTSCJ, so they won't work. But um, mm -hmm. if I can get it. We already yeah. covered Kingsfield, by the way, recent. Yeah, we mm -hmm. have a Kingsfield episode. Yeah. I guess we, Sorry, could, do, we could do Kingsfield 4, because, mm -hmm. like, Autumn is a big fan of Kingsfield 4, so she'd want to talk about that. Oh, snap! Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um,. I have no trouble streaming the original Shadow Tower because that was like PS One, PS Two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to finagle it a bit because like, like there was a fair bit of um, frames dropped here. Because oh. the the emulator is like it's fine, and then the second I switch it to streaming, it starts dropping. Mm -hmm. But that may just be Kuon. Because Kuon, I had to fiddle with the settings a lot to get it to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put the playlist to Gaming in the Elton Years. Yeah. For people who are into like retro podcasts. Yeah. Check it out. Um, we have, what do we have there? We have episode zero, then we have episode about There's... Mega Man. Yeah. Fantasy, yeah. Venue, Kill, Tower Man, Castlevania. We have an extra. To stream Katamari Legacy of King, Kingsfield, yep. Blood Omen, Biohazard, Evio. And, um, uh, you, the one. No, 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 not yet. No, 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 what was, no, 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 we, we did it. Um, Killer 7. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, and if you like what we do and would like to encourage us, check out the other place. I think it's more if you'd like to enable us, because you don't you don't need encouragement to do this. You just do it, but then people sometimes give you money, and you're like, "Aha! I'll spend this commissioning an artist t to draw a joke that I thought was funny once, and now it's on a mug." We're helping the art community, okay? We are actually. So it's all good. <laughs> Um, yeah. 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 I guess that's it. Okay. Um, thanks, thanks for coming, everyone. Yep. Okay. We will. Um... Yeah. Yeah. What do you. See you Wednesday for uh, Redgrave's podcast. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah. A, mm -hmm. a surprise podcast that's described as though it's not a surprise. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think Sketch is going on here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop streaming now. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>